How's it going, everybody? This is Jennifer, and welcome back to the Motherland channel. So, let's talk about tin cans. Those little guys have way more to offer than you might think, especially when it comes to survival. I mean, we're talking about some serious survival hacks here. From crafting essential tools to whipping up makeshift cooking setups, tin cans got you covered. Get ready to be amazed by the wonders of these humble containers. Number 10, hanger. A small pop-top lid and its accompanying key can be incredibly versatile for various purposes. One immediate use is to create a simple hanger. By cutting the pop-top and leaving a portion intact, it can serve as a practical hanger. You can tie something to it, such as a rope or string, and then easily hang items, allowing for quick access and removal. The sturdy construction of the pop-top lid ensures that it can support the weight of the items being hung securely. Number nine, knife. Using the lid of a tin can, you can create a makeshift knife with a bit of ingenuity. Simply bend the lid in half, creating a handle-like grip while exposing a sharp edge. To make the knife more effective, you can hammer it down slightly to tighten the fold and refine the cutting edge. This simple process results in a practical tool that can be used for various tasks. Although it may not be as sharp as a conventional knife, this makeshift knife is still capable of cutting and can be put to use effectively. It can serve as a skinner for field dressing in small games. Number eight, arrowhead. To create a small arrowhead from a cutout section of a tin can or by cutting directly, follow these steps. Begin by cutting out a large triangle shape from the metal the arrowhead doesn't have to be perfectly shaped, but ensure that the points are suitable for tying it down to a stick. Using a knife, make a groove on the stick where you intend to attach the arrowhead. Insert the arrowhead into the groove you've created, and then secure it in place using some string or cord. This will firmly attach the arrowhead to the stick, forming a functional arrow. While the arrowhead may be thin, it is sufficiently sharp to penetrate if needed. For added effectiveness, you can double down on the arrowhead, making it even more potent for survival scenarios or hunting situations when a conventional arrowhead is not available. Number seven, scoop or shovel. An improvised scoop or shovel proves to be a handy option for various tasks, provided you exercise caution around its sharp edges. Its sturdiness and adaptability make it a valuable addition to your toolkit in a grid down situation or during outdoor activities. It can be used to transfer materials into any container suited for your specific needs. Whether it's gathering soil, moving small debris, or even handling pet food, this makeshift scoop offers a convenient solution. To fashion a practical scoop or small shovel from the can, you'll need to cut at an angle, ensuring the back end is slightly fuller. This step involves some guesswork, and the tin snips will prove invaluable for achieving the desired shape. Once you've overcome the initial challenge, carefully assess the depth you want for the scoop as the edges can be dangerously sharp. With the modifications complete, it's time to test the functionality of the newly crafted tool. Number six, perimeter alarm. To construct a perimeter alarm using cans, you have the flexibility to choose the number of cans you'd like to use. Begin by poking holes through either side of the cans. Optionally, you can remove the labels or paint them with a dark color to make them less conspicuous. Next, take some twine and thread it through the holes in the cans. For added effectiveness, consider running the twine through a couple of times to create tension, and then continue the daisy chain by linking the twine to the next can. Once the cans are tied together, position the setup between two points. Fasten one end of the twine to a tree or another sturdy object, while the other end is secured to the second point. This creates a line of cans functioning as an alarm system along the perimeter you wish to monitor. To produce noise when the alarm is triggered, place objects inside the cans that can create a rattling sound. Suitable items include rocks, screws, nails, or any metal object you have available. Avoid overfilling the cans to ensure sufficient space for generating noise. Using a robust twine is recommended, but even with a less sturdy one, the alarm will be effective as the swinging motion of the cans makes it challenging for intruders to stop the noise once triggered. With this DIY perimeter alarm in place, you can enhance security and get alerted to any potential intrusions or disturbances in the monitored area. Number five, small pail slash cooking pot. 
This simple yet ingenious DIY project results in a multifunctional pail with a handle, facilitating an array of tasks such as carrying and even cooking. Its adaptability and ease of construction make it an excellent addition to anyone's arsenal of practical tools. To craft a small pail, we begin by the essential step of creating two holes on opposite sides. Employing a punch or a suitable tool for this purpose, it is advisable to utilize a mallet as backing to ensure a clean and effective puncture. Proper alignment of the holes is crucial to the success of the project. Once the perforations are completed, we proceed with crafting the handle using a metal clothes hanger. Cutting the hanger to an appropriate length, we verify that it fits through the holes smoothly. The next step involves employing snips to bend the hanger around the halfway point, securely attaching the other end through the hole on the opposite side. This cleverly forms a sturdy handle for the pail, ensuring ease of use. With the handle securely attached, the pail becomes a versatile tool for various tasks. Notably, it proves efficient in bailing water or carrying liquids, surpassing the limitations of using bare hands. Moreover, it offers the possibility of transformation into a practical cooking pot with a little creativity. By adjusting its length and incorporating a mount or piece of wood on top, the pail can be positioned over a fire, functioning as a convenient cooking apparatus. Number four, tea light candle lantern. To create a tea light candle lantern using a tin can, start by having holes punched into the can, then proceed to cut out a window on the front while many people would use a separate lid to make the window, this method utilizes the existing lid that fits perfectly on top, simplifying the process. Begin by making the necessary cuts for the window while attempting to preserve the can's original shape. However, if it's not intended as a decorative piece, precision is not essential and a rougher finish can be acceptable. Next, take an old coat hanger and snip the ends to ensure they don't protrude past the lid. The coat hanger will serve as a handle, securing the tea light candle in place. Place a tea light candle inside the can, and the lantern is complete. You can hang these lanterns in various locations, and if you have multiple cans, you can create several lanterns. These lanterns are perfect for adding a warm glow around your campfire, or any outdoor setting. Just remember to have enough tea light candles on hand to use in the lanterns. Number three, fishing lure. Crafting a small fishing lure from a tin can proves highly beneficial, particularly in survival situations. To create this makeshift lure, shape the tin can into a spinner-like design. The corrugated surface adds an attractive flash to the lure, making it more enticing to fish. Use a punch to create a hole at the top of the lure, which will serve as the attachment point. In addition to its fishing applications, small tin cans can also be repurposed as organizers for various items such as screws, nails, bolts, and washers. This organizational approach might not be suitable for everyday use, but it becomes remarkably useful in crisis situations. When you keep these items separated and well organized, you can easily locate and access them when needed. In survival scenarios, these everyday items can become valuable commodities, and having them organized can save precious time and effort. Number two, signal mirror. With some ingenuity, you can transform a regular lid into a functional signal mirror. Look for a lid that has a slight sheen on one side and is gold on the other. This will enhance its reflective properties. While there are several options for polishing, charcoal or aluminum polish are recommended choices. In this case, we used aluminum polish, but feel free to experiment and find what works best for you. The main objective is to focus on the center of the lid and achieve a high quality, reflective surface, though it may not be as pristine as a conventional mirror. An important step in optimizing the signal mirror's effectiveness is creating a hole in the center. This hole serves as a sighting aid, helping you aim the mirror accurately towards your intended target. You can use a punch and a small hammer for this purpose, or if you have a suitably small screwdriver, it will do the job as well. Ensure the hole is of sufficient size for clear visibility while maintaining practicality. Once the hole is made, test the mirror's reflective capabilities in sunlight. Even with a basic polish, you should observe a substantial improvement in reflectivity. 
allowing you to signal for help or communicate over distances effectively. Number one, survival stove. To create a survival stove from leftover cans, follow these steps for a simple and efficient portable cook stove. Start by removing the label from a can. Use a can opener to make air holes at the bottom. These holes will facilitate the flow of oxygen, helping to feed the fire. Next, take another can and open it up. Create a series of holes around the bottom edge, approximately three quarters of an inch from the top. These holes will allow air to enter after the flame is established. You can leave the label on this can for added convenience. Proceed to make holes in the bottom of the combustion chamber, where you will place the wood fuel or charcoal. Similarly, repeat the hole making process around the top, creating the top portion of the stove. For the next step, take another can, drill some holes in it, and then cut off the bottom. This modified can will serve as a grate to keep your cooking pan elevated above the fire. Now, make cuts on the top portion of the stove to form supports for the combustion can, which will hold the fuel. When all the cutting is done, you can place the labels from the cans into the bottom of the stove, along with some kindling to prepare for lighting the fire. Once you got the fire going, add some charcoal to the stove and start cooking. And there you have it a simple and effective survival stove. With this improvised cook stove made from the cans that once held your food, you can prepare a hot meal conveniently during outdoor adventures or emergency situations. It provides a practical and efficient way to cook food on the go using readily available materials. And those are all the things you can use tin cans for. I'm sure you know of other survival hacks using tin cans. If you do, feel free to share them with us by commenting below. Please like, share, subscribe, and click on the little notification bell too so you don't miss out on our new videos. Until next time, thanks and God bless.